I know everybody's looking at this video right now and they're like, man, who's this stranger? It's been a while since he posted up anything on YouTube. I'm here, guys. Uh, if you follow me on IG, you're going to see that I just came back from an epic hunt in Kansas, uh, hooked up with Bobby Guy and Sand Hill Flyway. Uh, I didn't do an intro while I was up there, so that's the reason why I'm doing this intro now. If you're not into long videos, I'm telling you right now, this is not going to be the one for you. Uh, if you want to comment and throw a fit about a long video, go ahead. I'm not going to engage with you, all right? So you're just wasting your time. Uh, you got to see this. It's it's pretty crazy experience. And uh, how we got to this point was even crazier. It just shows how small of a world this is. 23 years ago, I was in Kansas at Barton County Community College in Great Bend, Kansas. I was there running track and field with an elite group of athletes. Coaching staff was unbelievable. A lot of Olympians came out of there. We were wrecking shop. Uh, but I couldn't go home for every holiday while I was there. So for Thanksgiving one year, I had to stay, and the next year I had to stay for Christmas. Uh, one of those holidays, I can't remember which one it was, uh, I got invited to a family's home, and we went out on a duck hunt. I didn't have any gear. I didn't have a license. I didn't have anything. I was just a tag along, and I just grabbed some coveralls, some Carhartts, I believe, and I froze my ass off. But as soon as the gun went off, I seen the birds dropping, the dogs taking off working, everybody's yelling the camaraderie. It was just absolutely insane. And I'm like, I want to be a part of this. You know, I wanted to do this, you know. Two things are going to happen if you ever go out on a hunting trip. You're going to love it or you're going to hate it. And immediately I loved it. So I'm going to fast forward this. Um, you know, we, we ended up eating the birds and all that. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, we shot some geese the next day. I didn't shoot the geese, but they did. And we had the geese in the crock pot. I mean, it was just a good meal. We had a great time. And it was one of those memories that I will always remember. Uh, so years go by, you know, I get into the game, uh, you know, working on ranches and, you know, getting into firearms and hunting coyotes and pigs and all that. And the word got out, right? I got friends in Kansas that are mutual. I got mutual friends in Kansas that knew, that know Bobby. And they started talking about me with Bobby and they started talking to me about Bobby. We got connected. And we start chatting back and forth through IG, talking on the phone. Man, you need to come down to Texas and hog hunt. Man, you need to come up to Kansas and bird hunt. And uh, look where we're at. And, uh, you know, last week I went up there and guys, it was insane. That's all I can say. It was insane. I had no idea how dedicated to the game they were. I really didn't. You see it on YouTube, you see it on Instagram, but when you see it firsthand, you got a lot of respect for these guys, man. And, uh, it's work, but they love it. They love it. Um, the guides, the guides out there, that they were just absolutely amazing, man. I'm going to drop some names here. Uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby's wife, Beth, uh, Gerald, Preston, Aaron, uh, Gage, uh, Drew, uh, man, uh, Bert, the guy cooking all the time, Burke. Uh, man, if I forgot some names, Nick, oh, man, they're going to gut punch me next time I go up there because I know I forgot some names, but... Man, the hospitality was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the lodge was so comfortable. I felt like I was at home. Obviously, it did because I didn't leave. <laughs> I was supposed to go hook up with uh, the O'Neill brothers up in South Dakota. And a snowstorm, severe snowstorm came in Thursday morning uh, that it screwed up my plans. I was not driving up. There was supposed to be one to three inches of snow. And it ended up being like 12 to 13 inches of snow. And Bobby was like, man, hey, just stay, just stay the weekend, man. You know, hunt, hunt some more with us. So I did. What you're about to see is pretty epic. I was sitting next to one of the clients and he said, I've been hunting birds for 32 years and I've never seen nothing like this. Guys, we're talking 50, 60, 80, 100,000 birds just coming in. Every day, I swear, it was more and more birds. It was pretty epic. I hope you guys enjoyed this footage. I'm going to share it with you guys. Again, I'm supposed to be going back up there in February on a snow goose hunt. 
We'll do a little bit more footage with Bobby. We'll talk a little bit more with the other outfitters out there that's helping out and out there spotting and, 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 and uh, scouting, uh, looking for birds. You got to see this, man, because there's a lot more to it than just setting up in the field and shooting birds. Uh, by the way, you got to put in some work if you're going to go up there, man. It took like almost a half hour for nine to ten people to set up decoys. Here, we throw out just two or three dozen decoys in the water. Up there, they're setting up several dozen. I mean, there is birds, de there's decoys everywhere. There's full bodies, there's socks, there's uh, clones, you name it. It's all set up out there, and I've never hunted in the field before. Hunting in the field, laying on your back, is the bomb. That's all I got to say. It beats freezing your ass off in the water. Enough of me talking. I hope you guys enjoy this. Might come back. Oh, another one's dying. Look at that one dying. Boom. Dead one. Cab driver. Cab driver. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try him right there, Glenn. Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> There's, one the There's one going down, Bob. Okay. We got one going down over there. Out here with Fred. So he's like, put T post. Wow. 
That's what I'm talking about. Brisket. That's, that's what I'm talking right about. Set. Gonna be eating good again. Eating good again. Damn. Yeah, that looks good. It is Thursday morning, I believe. Yeah, it's Thursday morning. Uh, my days are all mixed up, but it's Thursday morning. Uh, like I said, Tuesday morning was extremely cold. Uh, it was in the low 20s. Um, now, right now, we're in the high 30s, low 40s. Again, we got decoys out here. We got socks. We got full bodies. There's all kinds of stuff out here. Guys are getting set up right now. Uh, we're going to lay down. We're going to be in these huge white socks. Uh, they're going to completely cover us up and then whenever the birds fly over and come in uh, within shooting range we'll just pop out of them and start shooting up at the sky so um, again this is something i've been wanting to do for a really long time it's different you know i, I don't i don't bird hunt much uh, i do like it uh, a lot of people are just not used to me doing this but i had to share this with you guys because uh it's just a big hunt for me it's really special so Hopefully we get to see these animals uh, coming in and uh, we can take a few out and actually eat good this evening. Shoot him, guys! Amazing. 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 Shoot them, guys. <laughs> I was waiting for this one to come up. <laughs> Who shot the close one? <laughs> if either one of us, I don't know. We were both. I, I knew someone we was going to wait for him just to barely get above. Did you just two shot the one who popped up? Do what? Did you shoot yeah. The one yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah, so there were three people shooting at him. I know. I watched feathers like disintegrate. So. <laughs> Really 
good spec too. Oh! Shoot him, guys! Again, guys, we're out here in Kansas. We just limited out, did not spend much time out here. As you can see in the footage, the skies was just covered up with birds. We got some snows, we got some specks, we got lessers. We, there was all kinds of great birds flying over us. And Tuesday, we was out here and we was in darker with the darker decoys and we still had a lot of success we had a lot of fun a lot of birds went down but they changed over to the white as you can see we're like in these white suits zipped up we're laying down we're just embedded with the decoys birds are flying over we still have birds flying over right now trying to land look at this this bird's coming in right now we're just walking around so absolutely amazing experience here dream hunt you know again this is not my thing i don't i don't bird hunt you know but it's been a long journey my first hunting experience ever about 21 years ago was about 40 miles from here i went to junior college here in kansas and i stayed over the holidays i went on a hunt and i i was hooked i just didn't have the opportunity i didn't have the resources i didn't have the people backing me up to teach me how to hunt and for 20 years, I've been on this journey, hog hunting, varmint hunting, deer hunting, you, you, you name it, I've tried it. And I'm still trying some new stuff. And it's just crazy to be able to come back where it started, literally, you know, 40 minutes away and uh, being able to do this, man. Uh, Bobby Guy, the crew, Gerald, Sandhill. I mean, it's just an amazing experience. And I honestly don't see myself going anywhere else to, to try to duplicate this. Uh, it's a very, very good experience with the people. You feel like you're at home, they're cooking good, and we're seeing the birds. We are seeing the birds. Like I said, look at these snows. I mean, it's just crazy going, what's going on out here. Beautiful birds. Good times, shooting this federal ammo and uh, shooting the uh, Browning Maxis, 28 inch barrel, three inch shells, two and three quarters right now, I believe. Well, no, we're shooting three inch. I was shooting two and three quarters on Tuesday, but we're shooting three inch today. And uh, it was getting the job done. Again, awesome experience. And uh, I, I honestly don't even have any more words for it. I'm just glad I was able to do this. Out here having a good time. Out here having a good time. I'm about to shut it down and uh, I'm going to get on the road and go north, and we're going to hook up with James O'Neill and O'Neill Ops, the brothers up there in South Dakota. So there's a snowstorm headed their way. It's slowing me down. Uh, a serious snowstorm coming through uh, tomorrow, and I don't want to drive through that weather and uh, possibly destroy my truck. So I might have to wait another day, which means I might have an opportunity to hunt the next morning here with these guys and then hit the road once the snow disappears. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll see what happens up in South Dakota next. Oh, shit. <laughs> sure, guys. In the trees. In the water. <laughs> Shoot the two guys. Nice. Got three. <laughs> Shoot those two guys.
Wow. <laughs> Man. <laughs>
snowstorm came in northern Nebraska and South Dakota, I had to shut it. There was no way I could drive up there and hook up with James O'Neill and his family and hunt coyotes. There was no way I can drive up there. So I ended up staying another night here at Sand Hill Flyway and we got into the geese again. A bunch of lessers. Nine man limit in no time. The sky was covered with 80,000 birds. I'm still in shock with what I've seen. I know a lot of people out there hunt a lot of birds and they see the same thing, but I don't get the opportunity to see this all the time. I'm, I'm just speechless. I'm just speechless. I'm an avid pig hunter. I love hunting coyotes. I love taking care of pests. I, I love that side of, I love the night game, but I gotta make sure that I'm doing this every single season. I gotta at least do it at least one time and have a blast. It was absolutely amazing, and I can't thank these guys anymore. Some of the guys are back here. Aaron, Gerald, Gage, uh, Burke, the cook. Man, he was out there shooting with us. Nick came up from Texas and hooked up with us. Um, who else did I miss out here? Uh, Drew, Preston. I mean, I feel bad because I know I forgot some names here, and special thanks to Bobby, man, for getting me up here and and, and, and helping me get this experience. It's uh Again, it's been one of those journeys that's been in the years, you know, and it's awesome to come back here and experience this on another level. This is the highest level I'll probably ever get when it comes to hunting geese and ducks. Crazy. You guys take it easy.